Well, hey guys, and welcome to another I episode of DIY, oh, Dad. DIY Dad, baby. And look at this. Now, you guys will remember we did David's room, yeah. which is through there. We'll give you a little look around shortly. And Emily's room, which is there. And as you can see, needs a little bit of a tidy. Yeah, because I always mess up. <laughs> well, However, my dad always took out the uh, tidies it. However, this is a little hallway that goes to the back of the house and into I, David's room. I made this skirt with look at this. dad's white. Look at this. Top. Beautiful. I use this top. And you made a wee dress out of it, didn't you? Yeah. So what we're gonna do, you guys. Mm. So what we're gonna do, you guys, as you can see, this is uh, myself and Charles. Like, gonna draw pictures on the wall. And Dad just goes over. This is not DIY Dad, it's DIY Emily and David, isn't it? <laughs> so what we're gonna do, you guys, hold on, hold on. You guys, what we're gonna do is they're gonna get to play with the colour we're painting this, which is green. And they're going to make some beautiful jobs first, eh? Look at this. Yeah. So Dad, this is the whole way we're going to do, isn't it? I'm going to keep this picture a secret so you guys will be surprised. Yeah, baby. With a picture that I'm going to do. Yes. So let's oh. rock and roll with DIY Dad. Yeah. And son. And daughter. I just bumped my head. Ouch. <laughs> DIY Dad, son and daughter. And we will tidy the bedrooms, won't we, you guys? Eh? In six. What are you gonna draw? Are you gonna tell me? Right, let's get rolling. Mine's a secret. Right, let's rock Mine's gonna be a stick portion. There we go, Luke, is Emily and David. So we've stripped up on you guys, eh? Yeah. Pictures off, stuff that was hanging, so my self and Sharon certificates. These are a brush and this wrong right. thing. Now listen, you guys, it's getting cold in Scotland now, isn't it? So, we won't be doing as much work outside in the garden and the boat and stuff like that. But, the project that we are doing together, you guys, is our 1200 Bandit motorbike custom. And, I'm doing this together. We're doing this together and the quad bike West custom. Coast custom. We are West Coast customs in them both, aren't we? We're going to make them army. They are going to look Army awesome. West Coast customs. Absolutely. So what the guys are going to do, Emily, what was your idea? You were going to draw a line down the middle or something, weren't you? Yeah, but I can't reach. Oh, yeah, I think I might have to do that. So these guys are going to surprise you with some uh, pictures. So wait and see this, you guys. Just bubbly. And we will have five minutes to do it. Ah, oh, okay, you got plenty of time. There's no hurry. No, Dad, we have five minutes to do our wall. But the floor is lava, isn't it, you guys? And the guys are on. the guys are not allowed onto the carpet or the floor. They've got to follow that. We're allowed that into the bathroom. Through That's the bathroom. The only flooring that we're allowed to and Emily and David have decided that they are going to paint their feet. Look at I'm this, just designing guys. my foot. Look at this. <coughs> That's amazing, Emily. That's me lovely. Bushy. And then David's doing his thing. And we can write our names on this wall before we cover it over, eh? You've done it, baby. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. My oh, my goodness me. I'm painting. Emily's got a lovely looking girl going on here. Now look at the little tree going up the wall, look. And then Davido has got this dude, he's in the snow. Yeah, he's at his snow. He's done a pretty big tree next to it as well, hasn't he? He's and as you can see, they've been dying and waiting to do this as paint their feet. But only one foot each. Okay? I'm doing Try a left foot. Look I'm this. doing this random foot. <laughs> Not too much paint on you guys. I've still got the whole hallway to do. So it'll be Daddy's job next to get this bit done, won't it? Me and David will still help. <laughs> As if they're crazy children right there. totals! <laughs> so basically, you guys, we've got a bigger plan in mind, haven't we? We're not just painting We're a little hallway, are we? Mouth. You're making a shark I'm mouth in your mouth. Because it's starting to get colder in Scotland, so we're going to be doing a lot more filming up here in the house, eh? Yeah, not now, really upstairs. Done David's room through there, which you've all seen before. I thought I'd give you a quick look at Emily's room, <laughs> her beautiful bedroom. Um, just looking in its usual great set. She's uh, you're usually quite good, Emily, as well. You're usually quite good keeping your room tidy and stuff. But not anymore. No, but we'll have to start keeping it a bit tidier. So the idea, you guys, is is basically to try and get this whole upstairs done, so that we can film in a nice environment, eh? Yeah. Beautiful house. <laughs> Stop a swimming pond, do front flips and back flips. <laughs> we are thinking on selling the house, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 
we can't sell a house that's not decorated or not decorated more modern than what it is at the moment we'll do a lovely job the way Most, mostly just cosmetic yeah. well obviously we're doing this end of the hallway here remember we were saying so we're going to do the dark green aren't we but obviously we've got to do the hall that comes through here that's emily's bedroom door right there i'm standing in the studio here in the house that we built before i'll just give a quick look at that and uh, this you guys is the entrance into our bathroom now this used to just be open with a set of curtains we really liked that but i've put on these kind of louver style doors which need to get painted as well so what we've done is we've taken the imperfections that we're going to sort of get to like this bit up top here this old glass bit and um, obviously we're going to have to fill in that big hole with a wood and whatnot and the bathroom will be our next job but uh, it's just little things like this, you know, up top. I've stripped away the coven. You see that piece of coven just there? Stripped away that piece of coven there to replace with a new bit. And stripped away this. So it covers these wires so that I can put on a proper piece of trunk and you know. But it all leads to other jobs, you know. I mean, I'll have to repair the skirting board down there because I took the skirting board off. Didn't I? Yeah. So we're looking pretty good, you guys, aren't we? We should be able to get going. So we'll just get into one or two of these more intricate jobs. And once we've cleaned that up, that means we can start painting again, can't we? Yeah, guys, so we've cut this new piece of trunk in, haven't we, David? Mm -hmm. um, to hold in these wires here. And uh, these trunk, this tr these trunks are absolutely great. It just saves you having to rip off the whole wall just to get a few wires and tidied up, you know. And especially in these uh, older houses, it's normally the best thing. And really what you do is just paint it the same colour as the wall, David. The same colour as the wall. Yeah. So we're getting there. What are you up to, mister? Look at this. That's the old bit of coven, isn't it? David's busy destroying it. Go for it, son. Do your thing. Do your thing. Ooh. Well done, you. It's just polystyrene, isn't it? It must be foam. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just like polystyrene foam, that's all. So, yeah, guys. So you do get a sticky back to these trunks. But um, I like to have them screwed on, you know, and then you just know they're not coming off, you know, which is great. Once we've done that bit and got it all fixed and sorted, you guys, we also need to finish off here. I'm going to have to build something in here to tidy this all up. We've got a lovely colour of paint for this, haven't we, son? Look at that. So hopefully, guys, you can see if you can see what it'll look like, you know, when it's done. Over here is going to be dark green, like this, yeah, just like that, excuse David, and um, this is going to be that colour. But of course we need to even it back out again, so we'll probably have this colour, kind of saffrony colour, coming all the way around here. Just so that this kind of this kind of paint really stands out on this bit here, you know. See, so young David here is busy wrecking the place, whoa, he's having lots of fun, aren't you son? So what we are really needing just now, you guys, is get the raw plug box out. Usually quite like these red ones, just to, to help the trunking go on. So I think, son, maybe five will do. Don't yeah. do as much, we'll check in here. This is, it's not a great light here, is there, son? Maybe we should get the bigger light on. This is just one of our screw boxes for sort of domestic yeah. stuff, you know. <gasps> David spot his zip ties, haven't you, son? Here he goes, L leave them to some construction. So I just need to marry these raw plugs up with some of these screws. So I won't bore you with that, you guys. Right, guys, so, yeah, we're getting down to the bottom now. Get all this kind of wire sorted out now. But as you can see, how neat is that, eh? Great. So I just put on a, a spare piece of this because I just wanted to make sure it would fit on the trunking because we have this little sort of um, programmable room thermostat there. So I've had to kind of go around it oh, it's just slightly. Yeah, but yeah, we're getting there. David's still busy, aren't you, son? Because well, basically what we've got here is that is for one of the smoke alarms, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's That one there is for the programmable room stat. That one is for, I can't remember, and that is a telephone wire. Yeah. What was that one for again? Maybe I did never put that one in. I know I put this one in. Yeah, I can never mind. We'll soon find out. So there we go, you guys. I got, it's way down at the bottom now. And that plug that you see coming out of there, that bit of flex, um, actually powers this room start. But one of the reasons why we uh, plug it in is because we like to be able to switch them off when we go in the sort of caravan holes and stuff, you know? 
But there you go, you guys. This could be the front on. And that'll be pretty good. It's quite hard trying to fix that to the, the wall, actually, but it's, it's done okay. And here we go, Destructive Davies. Doing another one, aren't you, darling? Thankfully, I've got my bit just ready to go just there. But yeah, that's the trunking on now, you guys. Check it out. It's Lovely and neat. What's that, darling? Oh, I see that. Lovely and neat. But now we need to go up top. We need to get this piece of coven on. You'll see the coven that just goes along here. And incidentally, you guys, this colour here is what this is all going. Yeah? And that green there is going in that hole over there. Which looks pretty good, eh? And as we keep saying, the very last thing we'll do up here once we're done is the carpets. Isn't that you guys? Hey, we're getting there. Now David is continuing his path of destruction, aren't you son? Here he goes, look at him. <laughs> well we've got our bit of coven up, that's what we were looking to do. And guys, I always say, I mean this is years ago I put this coven up. And what's always best to do is just keep a couple of bits for instances just like this, you know. And um, it's very easy cut, very easy to, to put up. But of course I've just got this little added extra in this corner to cut a little check out. Just so it could fit the trunk in really nice and tight. But what we'll do is we'll glue it down, sand it and then paint it. And that should be that bit done really nicely. Right guys, just to orientate you to where we are. Look, there's David's path of destruction right there, isn't it, Darren? Yeah. We've set up just a wee light to get down here. So guys, this is basically right here is the top of our stairs that come up into the house and this skirting board here was kind of coming away from the wall a little bit wasn't it darling mm -hmm. so I've ripped that off it's right there and if you have a look down you'll see there's actually quite a gap there so what we're gonna have to do is fill that like all the other bits we'll have to fill that bit when we expand on foam or something and then put on a nice lovely new skirting board onto there hey David right after he's finished with his path though look it's like a hurricanes came through a wee bit in the hallway isn't it son <laughs> You're the boy. Right guys, so here we go. We've pulled back the carpet, haven't we David? Mm -hmm. We've ripped off the smooth edge, or the gripper, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And it has revealed this big gap. Now I think when I nailed that skirting board on, it was about 20 years ago actually. So it's the first time it's been off since then. But what we do guys is we tend to fill in the gap, yeah? We expand in foam or something like that. But to give it the extra, we use duct tape. Because nobody will see it. You know, so if you put the duct tape in, for example, all the way along there, that'll completely seal that. Once you put the skirting board on top, that's it tight, you know. But this has been a little bit of a source of dust, you know. There, there is a little kind of gap going up there. It doesn't look like much, but of course with the gaps, that's it, you know. It's just the dust is going to get straight through, no problem at all. So what I think we'll do is we'll seal this baby up with duct tape. And we might put on the old skirting board, but I might actually get a different size. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll get it. So basically, guys, I just want to show you this kind of layers. Now, I don't have it up here in the top because it's not really needed. But guys, the older houses, I tend to put down that foil, that really thin uh, silver foil insulation down. And then, of course, you put it down some really nice underlay and, of course, a nice set of thick carpet. And you know, if it is an older house, sealing up these edge bits, popping on some you know, really, really good quality duct tape, and then putting the skirting board on, it's completely sealed, you guys. You know, nothing's going to get through that. And of course, it'll keep your home really warm, won't it, darling? You see, it's whispering into the microphone. No. <laughs> and up we go. But we'll use painter's calc for that, won't we? Because you can just paint over that. But David and I took the decision we're not going to put on the old skirting board, we're going to put on a taller one, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And that's just going to get all this nice and covered. We can duct tape that right along as well. I'll cut a little check out of that um, skirting board just there, big, big boy. And that means we can get a nice uh, piece of wood in here to finish that off. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've stip skipped on a little bit, you guys. As you'll see, you've got the old louver doors sort of painted up there. Now that's just a first coat of white. Um, it definitely will need a second coat, you know. But yeah, I mean, basically, guys, we're just tackling all these little jobs. Remember, we're down there in the corner. We've got that almost there. But guys, really want to get this section here finished off, you know. And the idea, of course, is to get this whole hallway done and out of the way, but to end up in the big one, the bathroom. So this video is maybe not as you know hugely interesting as you know taking out toilets and sinks and plumbing and stuff like that. But you know, they're really needful. You know, they really are. And hopefully we'll get this looking really, really good for this sort of coming um, uh, Christmas time, you know? 
got a lot of nice wee bits we can sort of get on with. So let's get to it. What I'm going to do is just going to take that sort of line right there and just do that way. Fix that door, fix this door, get this painted green, get the skirting board painted white, and that should be looking a really good. Right, you guys, so door one of two. This is Emily's door just off of her hinges there. And there's David's, we'll grab that one next. But basically, you guys, I kind of hurriedly put this on. Some of these few jobs, I think, that I, I went past that I really should have took more time with. So basically, guys, I'm going to take this hinge off. I'm going to mark it up. I'm going to take this hinge off and get it flush with the, flush with the sort of door. And, of course, the same with this one as well, you know. And that means Emily's door will be a lot easier to sort of open and shut, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, just one or two jobs, I have to say, in the past, I've just kind of thought, oh, I'll, I'll do it after. And then you never do it, do you? So, time to get cracking with that today, I think. So here we are doing more practice with the uh, uh, DIY dad jobs. Look at this. It's not as easy as it looks, I have to say, you know, when you're doing these videos. They're not, not as easy. But basically... There she blows, look at that. So that's what I need to get into. Let's get that piece out of there. And of course what we'll need for that is a hammer and we chisel. And that's what we're gonna, that's what we'll do with this, let's see. Yeah, okay. Right guys, so we'll just try and find that discernible line as to where it was. Put that rubbish off of there. And basically what I'm gonna do you guys is just get going with the chisel. Just want to take out just the width of the then you're the width of the hinge, basically, you know. And this um, chisel could be a bit sharper, actually, you guys. We'll see how we get on. I can always go down and sharpen it. But basically, guys, I'm going to have to go right along the edge of here doing exactly the same thing. That's okay. And what I'll do is just work my way along like that. Along we go. Yeah, doing the camera work on working, it's, 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 it's a wee bit of a challenge for me, but I'm sure you get used to it in time. But this will make a, a, a good difference for it. Selling the house, it's got to be right. You know, got to be right, you guys. Right, so now what we'll do, you guys, is just get in at the angle. Like I always say in these videos, you guys, you know, I'm not a professional by any stretch of the imagination, but um, you know, I just always hope that these are just hints and tips that anyone can sort of pick up to do their own little jobs, you know? Because that is good. DIY is certainly good fun. I'm just being quite careful and just shaving a little bit at a time. Try and get this right in. Oh, we've got David! Yeah. I've got my son now. We're back on, aren't we, son? Mm -hmm. This is Emily's door. We'll get your one done next, over okay. Yeah, guys, this chisel just isn't doing the job. Is it? We've got a bag of chisels. I think they're in the shed, aren't they? We'll just take our time. It's a bit more carpentry work than joinery work, isn't it? Yeah. And we'll do a lovely job of just take our time mm -hmm. and get it done right, eh? We never got the caravan jobs done, the boat, uh, the caravan did we, son? Mm -hmm. Run out of time for that one as well, but that could be a future episode. Right, so guys, that's, that's nice and flush now with that whole part there. So now if I just screw this baby back on, do exactly the same to the bottom bit. And this door will be ready to go back on again. Here he is, the man of the moment. So that's it, isn't it, my boy? We've got that door done. Look at this. Look at that. Don't close it. Nice. It looks better now. It certainly does. That is much better. Yeah, we're sitting here. What are we watching? We're watching the making of an aircraft carrier, the USS. Oh, 
what was that again? USS. Oh, there you go again, you guys. Just the usual. I'll find out in a minute. I know. Do you see that plane's getting launched off their deck? It's cool, isn't it? And basically, the very last thing we're going to do, you guys, is the carpet, aren't we, son? And let's get this done. Let's get your door done and let's get moving. Right, guys, so that's us, I think. I've done not too bad at all. This is basically going to be the first part of this hallway video because eventually, obviously, we're going to be going through into the bathroom and we're going to be doing some major stuff in there, plumbing and electrical and all sorts of stuff, you know. But this is it, really, you guys. Stage one of the hallway. Hopefully, when we switch back on, we'll have this all, we'll start getting all this painted. But just to show you the door. Now look what I've done with the door. It's a really nice colour of green. And this hallway has gone dark green, like I said. So I just want to get this painted up just to see what that might look like, you know. And I think sometimes you have to do that. You think, right, if I paint that, because it's quite a major feature, because it's going to be that green, and it's going to be white when I build that top section in and put back on these uh, skirtings either side, you know. So that should look really, really good, you know. But basically, guys, that's about it for this particular video, I think. Um, you know, in the sort of grander scheme of things, as it were, we're actually just doing up our house to sell it, really. We're hoping to sell it and move on to somewhere a bit bigger, you know. But basically, we're just doing each room as we go along, get it all done, get it ready to go. And it's, uh, hopefully it's a nice little addition to the schedule of videos that we already share, like our motorbike vlog and our Scottish tours and cars, bikes and boats and all sorts of stuff, you know. So, um, yeah, the hallway hasn't been, isn't a really big deal as such, you know. You know, realigning these doors is a bit of a job. That's perfect. That's all done now, you know. But really, you know, the rest of it's really cosmetic, you know. And when we get to this, I'll maybe class this part here as the bathroom job, you know. And uh, we'll really get stuck in there. It's really neat to get going with, you know. But listen, for now, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And uh, loads more DIY dad stuff to come. God bless.